Yo, what is up everyone? My name is Dom and we're talking about unusual options activity. Alright, so, uh, disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. The statements made in this program are solely the opinion of the show and are not specific inducement to make an investment. One must perform their own due diligence and realize that all investments carry risk. There's no guarantee of profit. Alright everyone, uh, so today we had another day where the, uh, where the uh, reopen stocks, as you can see here, you know, the Dow Jones is more, uh, more levered to, you know, some of these reopen stocks. Uh, it was closed up a little bit higher than the NASDAQ, which is, you know, tech heavy and everything like that. But, you know, I'm going to bring you guys to a uh, reopen place today, but that does not mean that I'm selling my technology. You know, some of these uh, reopen stocks are getting a little bit long in the tooth, in my opinion. And, you know, people are going to come back to technology. I am not really too worried about interest rates. You know, interest rates have been at decade, decade lows for a while, and that's why everybody is selling tech, because, you know, inflation scare and uh, interest rate rising which would bring down the multiples in some of these uh, uh, stocks now I'm not really talking about these like super high flying you know really speculative stocks you know, I'm talking about you know good stocks like CrowdStrike uh, Trade Desk you know stocks like that you know I'm, I'm not I'm not really talking about zoom you know that one is uh, kind of worries me you know not that zoom isn't a good stock but you know that's just not for me but you know some of these other stocks it's gonna come time, you know. I want to be buying when everyone is, uh, you know, getting scared and nervous. So I'm gonna bring you guys a couple reopen plays, but always remember that these are just trades for me. So first one I want to bring up is XLE. Uh, this is the energy. Uh, this is the Sector Spider Energy ETF. Now as you can see here for these March 19th uh, calls here, there's some nice volume in these 51 strike calls. About 31,000 of these contracts trade today. I am in these March 19th 49 strike calls. Now, if you come down here, you'll see here that somebody came in and got 20,000 of these March 19th 51 strike calls. 20,000 of these things at $150 each. It looks like they also placed uh, some other orders here for these April 50 strike calls. And once again, they bought these, so they're doubling up on these energy calls here. Let's take a look at the chart, everyone. So uh, this one's two-year high is about a 68. You know, pre-pandemic high was about 55. You know, this energy was in a huge bear market for quite some time. Trade up to about 47. Trade all the way down to 27, and it's just been rallying ever since. You know, a mistake on me for kind of missing uh, this. You know, humongous rally here, but I'm not very bullish on energy stocks long term. You know, this is just a, this is just a trade. There's some big money going into these stocks. So you know, I'll be playing this one for uh, some short-term upside here. Next one I want to bring up is XLP. Uh, this is the uh, S&P Oil and Gas Exploration and Production ETF. This is another oil and gas. Always remember that for me, these are just trades. There's some nice volume here in these March 19th, uh, 87 strike calls, about 6,300 open interest of 32. I love that uh, volume to open interest. Uh, ratio, you know, it's really easy to pick that up because that, if, you know, if you can sort all your stuff by, uh, you know, you can do a search for uh, volume to open interest ratio, you know, just by exporting this stuff to a Word document and doing your own calculate er, into an Excel document, and doing your own calculations that way, and you know, it's really easy to spot that. And then you know, you come down here right away in time sales. You don't even have to do any searching whatsoever. There are some huge orders in these July 90 strike calls and also in the September 82 strike calls. I am in these September 82 strike calls. You know, these July 90 strike calls, those are good too. You know, I, I just went with the September ones. I don't mind paying the extra premium and giving myself plenty of time to have this trade work out. You know, kind of same deal with that other one. You know, this, this one's high is about 133 and just, you know, energy has been kind of crap for a while now. You know, this is this whole rotation of value thing. Most of these value stocks have underperformed for a decade or so. You know, that's why everyone's saying, you know, value is going to outperform for, you know, some people are like the next three years value is going to, you know, I don't know if I'm really in that boat, but, you know, I do want some exposure here. I literally have zero energy stock exposure. So here we go. Here's another one for you guys. So uh, here, I'll, we'll just check out this maximum chart. Yeah, and energy really has done nothing since 2008. It peaked, came back up. You know, that's why all these people are saying, you know, we're going to, you know, have this explosion of value. But, you know, 
me, you always want a barbell, you always want some tech, some of these value plays, and you know, for me, that has worked out really well. So thanks to everyone who's been subscribing, I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to leave a comment down below. You know, I'm here to learn as well. You know, always remember, I'm not a financial advisor or something like that. I'm always here to tell you guys, you know, what I've learned, what works for me, and you know, hopefully you guys can learn from that. You know, I'm also here to learn as well. So you know, I'm open to suggestions, open to comments. Uh, you know, just leave something down below if you got any suggestions or anything. All right, everyone, we are in a bear market, or <laughs> we are in a bull market. It pays to buy the dip. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one.